Hello everybody, my name is Joe, and I couldn't find a good PlayStation 3 to PC connection, you know, to play it on your PC tutorial online, so I decided to make my own. So here we go. So the first thing you need to do is you need to plug in your PlayStation 3 controller to your PC. Just use the charging cable that it comes with, and everything will work fine. The next thing you need to do is you need to figure out if you have a 32 or 64-bit OS. So if you're like me, I have a 64-bit, so I, um, I have the links in the description for the downloads. So uh, just go on to that link and you'll get the download. And then you need to save the file. And then you need to go wherever you saved it and open it up. You don't need um, you don't need an extract or er, a uh, compressor or opener like what I have, like WinRAR. So just click on it, and you're good. Nothing else needed. Once it opens, hit next, next, and just keep accepting it. And you know you know what you do when you download something. You just keep accepting until you get to the end, and then you'll have it download. And then you need to open it up. And you'll have to update. I don't have to update because I've already used this. So update it, and then everything will be good. And then you need to restart your computer. I'm guessing you guys know how to do that. So once you restart it, you need to uh, keep hitting F8, 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 F8. As soon as it restarts, and then this window will come up. You guys need to arrow down to Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. Click on that, and then hit Enter, and then it'll restart. Once you've done this, you need to go back to the program we just installed, and you need to go up to the top where it says Driver Management or M Manager. You'll see a little checkbox, and you need to check on that, and then Load Driver. That's a very important thing that I couldn't find. I didn't know what to do, but that's what you need to do. So check it, hit Load Driver, then hit Home. It'll do its thing, and then go home, and then you'll see your PS3. And make sure you, your controller is connected throughout this whole thing. And then you need to go and restart your computer again. Okay, once you've restarted your computer, you need to go back to it, and you should be good. You have your drivers installed, and as you see, uh, you can hit vibra or vibration testing, and it'll vibrate your controller to make sure it works. Um, now, it, the default is a PlayStation 3 option, but I find a lot of computer games only accept the Xbox. So, I use the Xbox 360 controller emulator, and then, so you check on that, and then you need to go down to enable. And now, like Steam and stuff, it only works for the Xbox. So now, for example, if you use Big Picture on Steam, you can control your computer with your controller, which I think is awesome. So you can like browse the web or just do whatever you want. You, for example, I wanted to play Skyrim because I, I like kicking back and, you know, having mods and stuff. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like. Uh, subscribe. See you later.